What exactly are neurotransmitters? They are substances in the brain that enable communication to occur between neurons. There may be as many as 200 different neurotransmitters, and this number actually seems to be going up. So, in past decades, there were fewer known neurotransmitters, and more recently, more and more have been identified. Their behavior is actually quite complex, and a neurotransmitter may be inhibitory at one location of the brain, but excitatory at another location of the brain. It is also the case that at a particular synapse, there may be more than one neurotransmitter playing a role there. What is the criteria for calling something in the brain a neurotransmitter? Criteria number one is that the chemical must be synthesized in the neuron or otherwise be present in it. Number two, when the neuron is active, the chemical must be released and it must produce a response in some target neuron. Criteria number three is that you must see the same response when you just artificially place that chemical on a target neuron. And criteria number four, the last one, there must be a mechanism for removing the chemical from its site of action after its work has all been done. Now let's review some familiar neurotransmitters. Dopamine is one that is associated with movement and also feelings of pleasure that you might get from food, sex, commonly abused drugs such as opiates, and it may also play a role in Parkinson's disease and schizophrenia. Serotonin plays a role in mood, sleep, arousal, depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, and also alcoholism. Acetylcholine plays a primary role in the activation of muscles and also in the communication in the brain when you engage in learning. It also plays a role in Alzheimer's disease. Glutamate is the primary excitatory neuron in the brain and spinal cord. It plays a role in learning and also schizophrenia. GABA is the principal inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain. Its receptors respond to alcohol and tranquilizing drugs such as benzodiazepines. Deficiency in GABA or GABA receptors is one cause of epilepsy. Where in the brain do you find dopamine? This figure shows you the pleasure reward pathway. This pathway would be highly activated if you engage in any behavior that involves dopamine producing neurons, such as seeing the person you love, eating a delicious food, being romantic, or taking an opioid. There are numerous regions of the brain that are rich in dopaminergic neurons. In this figure, you can see the serotonin pathways as well as the dopamine pathways. In some places they're overlapping, in other places they are not. How do you measure neurotransmitter levels in the brain? Well, in fact, it is not easy. Historically, the amounts were measured using animal models, and so the research on which modern antidepressants were founded involved the injecting of uh, drugs into animals and then later dissecting their brain to count up how much of the neurotransmitter was present. But modern techniques have evolved. This image shows you the location of the activity for serotonin receptors. The different colors refer to different levels of activity. And so modern scanning techniques are providing better and better ways of seeing where you get neurotransmitters being active. That's all for now.